All right, Capital Improvement Board officials are trying to find out why two men tumbled over a railing at Lucas Oil Stadium yesterday. Although those injuries don't appear serious, the people who run the stadium are doing a thorough check of those rails before the next football game, which will take place on Friday night. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox has the update. Little is known about the two fans who fell Sunday, but what is really important to the Capital Improvement Board right now is making sure that this doesn't happen again to somebody else. It was in the northwest, uh, what we call players' tunnel for the. The identity of the two fans remains unknown, even to CIB Director Barney Levengood, because no police report was made. Federal health privacy laws prevent their names from being released, even to stadium authorities. What is known is that they fell from an area around a railing that separates fans from visiting team players entering and exiting the playing field. And we know that two fans tumbled from uh, a section in the stadium. Uh, they, they fell in the neighborhood of about 10 feet that we're aware of. And one was transported for observation. We think that person's in good shape. And the other one was released uh, right at the, at the event. So we think uh, there's... Uh, uh, a good chance that everybody's okay. It's uncertain if there was a structural failure with the railing involved, but CIB officials are taking no chances. They're checking all the railings, both for structural soundness and whether they're attached properly to the concrete base. We're going to go through all of our rails and all our procedures and all of our uh, fan um, interaction uh, procedures for this weekend again. Um, you know, we have a some fans have a tendency to crowd around to try to get autographs or memorabilia. We're going to work on that. We're going to look at all the physical part. Every railing is being checked right now. Levengood assures me it will be done not only in time for Sunday's Colts game, but for the high school game that will be played here on Friday night. At Lucas Oil Stadium, I'm Norman Cox, RTV6. And Levengood says it appears the men first hit the canvas cloth that covers the visiting team walkway and then fell through that and hit the floor below.